Hola, I am your Worldwide School volunteer. My name is Stephanie. I'm a Peace Corps volunteer serving in Paraguay, um, which is a beautiful country that is bilingual. They speak Spanish and Guarani. And um, I'll be explaining a lot about this country in the following slideshow. I also talk a little bit about myself before I became a Peace Corps volunteer and some information about Peace Corps in general. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, and we will be talking soon, or as they say in Guarani, ja ja topata. My college of choice was SUNY Geneseo in New York, and I was part of a social service group that had 90 women, and we did um, volunteerism around the community. I then studied abroad in Peru, um, where I got to stay with a host family who I love dearly and hope to visit again soon. Peru was a huge reason as to why I wanted to do the Peace Corps. I loved meeting new cultures and finding out how people live differently than me. Also, my psychology majors showed me that I wanted to help people and work one-on-one -on -one with the people. timeline about how Peace Corps works. It took me about a year and a half to two years to actually get into service. But finally, um, in March 2015, I left for Paraguay with a group of 47 other volunteers. As you can tell, Paraguay is a landlocked country in South America. Its population is made up of Spanish speakers and the native language of Guarani. The majority of the people here speak Guarani, which is unique when it comes to a native language like that. Once you get into service, um, you have three months of training, and during that training you live with a host family. I had a host family that had three children, um, two grandparents, and two daughters with their husbands um, living in one house, and they were extremely wonderful people and helped me out a lot. And this little baby is Marcelo, and I loved him and I miss him every day. During training, we learned about health topics because we are the health volunteers. Um, we also learned about trash management and we made an eco bench and each one of those plastic bottles had two months worth of inorganic trash inside of it. We also had a hands-on technical session to learn how to build fogones, which are cook stoves. Some of the women here are still cooking on the floor, um, and these cook stoves allow them to cook in a raised level, and the kids don't enter the fire and the animals don't jump on the food. It's much safer and healthier.
Here in Paraguay, they eat a special bread called chipa, and they have many forms of it, but it's all made from the same ingredients. Um, mandioca or yucca starch, corn flour, lard, eggs, and cheese. And they cook it in a tata kwa, which is an oven, um, like a wood stove oven. They also have another type of chipa, acerdero, that they cook over an open flame on a stick. Both are very delicious. Here in Paraguay, they eat a lot of meat and they use every part of the animal. They make blood sausage with the blood and it happens to be delicious. They use the intestines, um, they put it in a skewer and it's also very good. Paraguayans are very laid back and relaxed and they aren't quite as uptight as us in the States. And they do these beautiful artworks, Nanduti, and they have beautiful dances and their Alpoi dresses. Um, this is a typical little girl in one of the Alpoi dresses to do the traditional dance. And these are the boys and what they wear for that same traditional dance. Here are some typical buses. If I were going into the capital, I would take that bus. In the capital, it's a little bit different. Um, they're very liberal, and you kind of feel like you're in the States again, like going to a pride parade. Our last day all together in training before we went to our sites. My site is called Nueva Londres. It's close to Coronel Oviedo. For the first three months in our site, we live with a host family again. This lady is my host mom and this is her house. Um, after the three months, we get to move into our own houses. This bright green house is the one I get to move into and it's right next door to my host mom. The main thing I have been doing during my service is teaching an English class to elementary age children. And here I have them playing Twister. Close to me in sight, I have a volunteer that's part of the agriculture sector. Her name is Carla. She came to my site and helped me do a he for she campaign. This is the doctor who requested me for the community and I go to the health post and I work with her there, giving Charles about nutrition and portion sizes. In addition to Carla, the volunteer close to me, I have managed to make some Paraguayan friends. This, uh, the girl in the black is my friend Noemi. She just finished her thesis. This is Marta, she is a nanny in town, and she lives with Baylin, who is studying to be an accountant. Some other activities that I have done in sight is held an environmental camp with some local volunteers and showed the kids how to make recycled art, why it's important to um, keep trash out of your rivers and streams and fields. We gave Charles um, about the planet and about the soil and played games that were relevant to trash management and overall had a very good time with some very hardworking kids and volunteers. Sometimes we get the opportunity to travel to other volunteer sites and see what they're doing in site and see what their sites look like. 
Wow, that was a lot of information. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Paraguay has a lot to offer and I love it here. I am so excited to share its culture and its beauty with you all. Keep an eye out for the next video. I'll talk to you soon.